the way to brightness. So cherish your precious times, grow the past, but you live in the moment now. Where's your girl? Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. Gets things running. So, Jim, who do you identify as the key man in this fixture? I'll go for Francesco Totti. Cunning, conniving, he's a playmaker one minute, a match winner the next. And his longevity is testament to, to great dedication and, and motivation over the years. Yeah, I'd have picked him too. No doubt the fans feel much the same way. And for a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Totti with the ball through, Florenzi, Florenzi with the cross, not this time. Oh, is that really good enough? The delivery was pinpoint for me, very, very accurate, and yet he failed to convert it, and he has to find a bit more composure than that. commitment and he really threw himself at that one just a little more accuracy was all it needed it's a loose ball it's a forceful run down the right but he's short of options now Stuttman great effort he flew in with courage yeah and those runs from deep are always difficult for a defence to pick up but he still had to throw himself at it to get his head on it. He tries a through ball. He's in, surely. They've scored! The breakthrough strike! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Look, you can only exploit the space if the pass is good enough. And in that instance, it was instinctive and quick, and it did the damage. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Oh, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. Have to stay focused. De Rossi knocks it towards the front. It'll be a throw-in. Diego. So what now? Florenzi comes sliding in. Now the pass. Florenzi. And the cutback. It's El Sharawi! No, 
not this time. Yeah, and it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Struck first time. Oh, a very decent attempt. on it and it's Strutman Strutman a chance to play it in drills one in big relief it just needed better contact I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of the goal but he just couldn't put in the telling touch the final action of the first half. I honestly don't think they need to change anything in this second half. They just need to believe in themselves, stick to the game plan, and I'm sure they can turn this scoreline round. That gets things going for the second half. I'm sure the managers talk the talk and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. Stroop. Looks like a good ball through. Out towards the flank. Goalkeeper's ball. Roma still chasing a one-goal deficit here. Wolf loose, who's getting there? Al Sharawi. Great ball, now the shot. And in it goes. Roma are level. Urge to shoot, and he duly delivered. El Sharawi just knew instinctively where the ball was going to end up. That's clearly been worked on on the training ground, and the understanding is is pretty exceptional between them. And it was beautifully worked. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, that's got them back in it, but it'll be very interesting to see what way they approach it now. Do they settle for that or push for more? Diego passes it through. out to the flank forward it goes Salah looks to slip it through Salah looking to run onto it and the flag has stayed down lofted into the middle knocks it away who's ball who's going to get there and very necessary. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Keeper's got good distance on that. It's a long forward pass. 
Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Totti. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come now. Totti with the ball through. El Sharawi. They've scored! And look who gets the final say! And it's no accident when this kind of thing happens. Top players are elevated to such a level because they have the will to keep going and the composure to produce vital goals. Take that. Oh, that was a close call, but for me, he timed his run to absolute perfection there to stay just onside. And he's still a lot to do, you know, but I think he's tucked that away really well. Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? It's come loose. Looks like a good ball through. Tremendous from El Sharawi! And with that goal comes comfort! That has brought the house down, what a wonderful hit! Oh, the contact was fantastic, right on the boot laces and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike. He snaffles his third and that earns him the match ball. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while, he's practically taken on this team single-handedly and they don't know how to stop him. Roma could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And that's it. Roma did it the hard way. A testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. Your final thoughts, Jim? At times it was like Groundhog Day because of their continuous success in using width as the best route to goal. It worked a treat and it, it looked a treat. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance. Thanks to Jim alongside me and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.